know, so everybody kind of knows the Edmund Fitzgerald. Well, and, and then you, you know the song, at least. Yeah. Should we sing it? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! So, uh, when's, when's the elevator day? Welcome to uh, Gills Rock, Death Store Maritime Museum. Most of the early settlement that occurred in the county occurred with people coming off ship on land. And so Door County is very much defined by its maritime history. That's very cool. The commercial fishing tug is really kind of iconic to the Great Lakes, but then also this area in particular. So it was very easy and very simple and cost effective to just take an old tugboat, put on a new cabin, and convert it with the necessary equipment. These turned out to be very well adapted for the climate. And so the design stuck. So what else are we getting into today? We're gonna to be making our way over to Bailey's Harbor and we're gonna be climbing a lot of stairs. Cana yes. Island, huh? Yeah. Hills Rock is very much like defined by its commercial fishing history. And it's still, you know, one of the communities that it still has active boats that go out and bring catch in. And of course, you know, the Maritime Museum isn't just focused on the history. It's also looking at the current day, you know, the ecology, uh, industries. So um, tomorrow's history. Yeah, today's and tomorrow's. So wait, what is, what's up here? So, I mean, Door County has some 200 shipwrecks that are associated with its coastline. So you can actually you know, see several of them. One of which actually is pretty well known in the area is the Fleet Wing. It was, uh, it was a schooner. It uh, went down in 1888 during the course of a significant storm that made it run aground the rocks. And that's just a natural risk for the area. But yeah, as you can see, it went down just right off there. Just right out there. Yeah. So we're just up in Gills Rock, heading back from Death's Door. Now, now here's an interesting question. Why do you think it's called uh, Death's Door? Because it's a dangerous passage. You know, and that's actually a common answer. A lot of people say, oh, you know, all the shipwrecks. But the reality is that name is much older. It goes back to the French, who called it Port de Mort. And that actually came off of when they first came into this area in the 1600s. In the peninsula, you had the Ho-Chunk. And in Washington Island, you had Potawatomi. Well, the fishery stocks were so great off of Washington Island that there was a lot of uh, interest and conflict between the two groups. The Ho-Chunk launched a raid across the passage and a storm popped up, which actually led to something like a quarter or a third of their nation being wiped out in a wow. single moment. Death Star. And yeah, it was, you know, it was uh, Death Star. All right, well, here we are. And our chariot awaits. And you chose an absolutely perfect day to come by and uh, visit Cana. Yeah, this is awesome. Here we go. Yeah, set sail. <laughs> I mean, I think this is one of the absolute best walk-ups you could ever do. Yeah. You know, you just see this coming out of the tree line. You know, that is 107, 108 feet tall altogether. So it's it's pretty big. It's the, definitely the, the largest lighthouse in all of Door County. So if we continue, we've got Lighthouse Keeper's Quarters. It's, you know, it's built in that Milwaukee cream city brick. When they use that building material for the tower itself, the weather conditions uh, just really wore away at it. And that's why uh, you see now it's got the steel cladding wrapped all around it. How many steps did you say this thing had? Uh, 97. All right. Let's get going. Oh, wow. Is this the best view in Door County? Well, of course, you're seeing it for yourself. <laughs> Hey, no arguments here. I mean, it's still an active native navigation, so it still does serve its original purpose in some capacity. And one of the best parts of this lighthouse is that it's Fresnel lens, it's staying here. It's not getting moved out. Uh, it's just a living monument to, you know, where we've been and, you know, where we are going. Mm -hmm. 